While Madison Bowie captains the Kelowna Rockets to an incredible season in the Western Hockey League, the Rockets also have an eye on his younger brother, Connor, an eighth round Bantam selection from 2013. The 16 year old Winnipeg native is a bit like his older brother, an offensive defenseman on the major midget Okanagan Rockets. I'm a little smaller than him, so I have to do a little stronger in my stick and a little stronger in the corners too, but I like to play just, just like him and model my game as him as well. He's got that offensive upside on him, and I think every game so far this year, he's improved all the time from the beginning of there till now. He's gotten more confidence in his abilities. He has good skills. 16-year-old Danny Gattenby is also Kelowna Rockets property as a listed player. He's already three inches taller than his brother Joe, a stay-at-home blue liner for the WHL squad. And he plays a similar style, too. I think we both focus on our uh, D zone quite a bit. I mean, we're uh, both defensive players. I think I got a more of a physical presence than he does out there, but that's still coming along. He's probably been our, our most steadiest player all year from the day one till now. He doesn't make very many mistakes. He keeps it simple. He's a good skater. He plays the game well every game. While Bowie and Gattenby play defense just like their brothers, Brandon Whistle is a forward, unlike his brother Jackson, who tends goal for the Kelowna Rockets. He's got a good skill set on him. He always has. He's very good vision-wise. He sees the ice very well. Here's Pachero skates in, shot, and a save whistle left pad. Hey, Jackson needed someone to shoot on him when they were growing up. Or did he? It seems the roles were reversed and Brandon was often between the pipes. When we were playing road hockey, I always had to be goalie. He never wanted to be. But uh, I think I'd be scared of the puck if I was a goalie. I wouldn't want to stand in there how he does it. It may not always be brotherly love when it comes to the sport of hockey, especially when both siblings are competitive. But it certainly helps to watch an older brother go through the paces first and learn what it takes to get there. You know, he just works his hardest every day does what he can and that's gone him quite far so just try to work just as hard as he does. Just to stay humble and uh, confidence too, um, just uh, have goals and achieve them and uh, set high goals and believe in yourself. There is some added pressure on these young players having an older brother succeed at the next level. It's always there but not really, no. I just try and focus on myself and let him be him and whatever happens, happens really. If he's doing it right, you want to follow in his footsteps. If you think he's doing it wrong, you want to change something. So it's good and bad. You know, I, th I think everybody has their own opportunity. Everybody's their own person. And if they really want it, they'll work hard enough. The question begs to be asked, who is better? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough question. Uh, I guess we'll have to see how it pans out later on. It was just always hard to score on him. I don't think I could do it often now, but I definitely think I could get a couple by him. I don't know, that's a tough question. Uh, he's a really good player. It's always a dream to be uh, better than him one day. It's a good goal, and uh, I'm going to set myself to be that.